hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are all well today's video is one that i have wanted to film for probably about a year now i probably have actually tried to film this video like five times now and every single time i film it i delete the footage and i don't upload it because i feel like talking about this sort of thing brings bad energy but I'm going to be talking about it anyway because me and Grace did a daily vlog the other day and at the start of it I did a little story time about something that happened to me that night and all of the comments basically were like Grace how can you be so normal about talking about that that's so freaky like I would cry myself to sleep if that happened to me like why are you so normal talking about that what's wrong with you <laughs> we, need a, we need a story time about your experiences I was like okay I'm finally going to sit down and talk about my ghost experiences, my paranormal experiences and just what the hell is going on. Also, if you don't believe in ghosts, I don't really know why you clicked on this video. That's probably why I feel this video so many times and not put it up because I feel like people make fun of me or people think I'm crazy for thinking this or people just won't believe me. But, you know, why would I lie about this? The first paranormal experience happened when it was my sister's birthday we decided to go up to notting hill it's her little apartment out and we'll stay there for a night you know for her birthday me and my sister were sleeping in the living room there was like a living room sofa that turned into a bed i woke up in the middle of the night and i saw someone sitting down i thought it was my sister at first i was going ellie sit back down sit back down ellie sit back down like why are you up obviously that wasn't my sister my sister was right next to me sleeping so she was like she woke up because I was screaming at this woman and she was like, Grace, what are you doing? What do you mean? I was like, oh, sorry, I must just be like seeing stuff, whatever. I went back to sleep. Probably like an hour later, I woke up and saw another person. I thought it was my mum. So I was going, mum, like, why are you out here? Like, go back to bed, like, you weirdo. Like, go back to bed. And obviously my sister was like, Grace, she woke up again because I was being really loud. And she was like, Grace, there's no one there. That was like my first experience of seeing people i know that really does sound really freaky but at that point i just thought that's really weird i must just be like seeing stuff or like dreaming it i don't know but like that's weird but i didn't i didn't really think about it that much to be honest i just thought that's a bit weird i also just want to say i don't think that place is haunted because we've actually been back there a couple times and i've been okay it was just the first time we went so that was like my first weird experience that was probably when I was in year 10 it started to happen. Ever since then, I've had really, really weird experiences. I'm not going to be able to remember all of them because I've had a lot. So then I came back to my house and probably like a week passed and I had another experience. Basically, what just kept happening was I would go to sleep and my bed is like here and then my door is here. So like when I sit up, I'm right facing my door. Basically what would happen is in the middle of the night I would open my eyes and I would see a woman standing at the end of my bed. Not even really a woman, just like a black, like a black shadow. I know people find this really crazy when I say it, but I was never ever like scared of this woman. I would literally just wake up, see it and go back to sleep. And I know that sounds so weird to people. When I tell them that like it doesn't faze me, people find it so odd. But at the start it just didn't faze me at all. Like I just thought... You know, whatever. Like, I was, I was obviously in denial. Like, I just was looking at it and be like, whatever, I'll go back to sleep. Then I had other experiences that weren't figures. First weird thing that happened to me is I would like... This sounds like it's in a horror film. But, you know, there's like a door and then the door's on like a hinge. You know, like you can see in between the door and a wall. Like, it's got like a really tiny thing. I would walk past and see eyes. I'll put like an image here of what I mean, which I thought was weird obviously. I would hear, in my sleep, I would hear music playing, like record music playing, like really old music. And then some really weird stuff started happening. So the first thing that I thought, that's actually not normal. Basically, there is a loft on top of my room. And in the daytime, I would hear knocks coming from the loft. And they actually started to piss me off because they were really, really loud knocks. At first, I thought it must be like a rat or a mouse making that sort of noise. But whenever I got my mum or my dad to come in the room and hear the knock, the knock would stop. And that's when I started to get a little bit freaked out because 
it was a really, really, really weird coincidence that every time they would come in the room, the knock would stop, they would leave and it would come again. And I'd be like, right, come back in, like it's happening again. And then it would stop again. I was like, right, this ain't right. <laughs> A time where actually it happened with Grace. Me and Grace went on our first holiday together to Lanzarote with Motel Rocks. And we shared a bed. We obviously shared a room. We were asleep and I woke up and I, I saw a figure right next to me. And they were like touching my AirPods. I thought it was Grace. And I was going, Grace, why are you up? Like, why are you touching my AirPods? Like, what's wrong? Like, go back to bed. So then Grace was like, Grace, what are you on about? Like, I'm right next to you. I didn't want to freak her out, so I was like, oh, don't worry, I must just be, like, talking in my sleep. And then, then when we left Lanzarote, I was like, just want to let you know, like, I actually saw someone there that I thought was you, and obviously wasn't, but, like, I actually saw someone. Okay, so that's, like, probably all the past things that have happened. More recently, it's got worse. Because of coronavirus, my sister came back home from uni, so she was in her room. In the middle of the night, I would see figures again. But this time, they weren't black shadows. Like they actually looked like people. And I just get a bit angry. And I've started shouting at them. So, like, if I, I always wake up and see, like, a woman, I would start shouting, being like, get out. Why are you here? Get out of my room. It's probably happened twice where my sister would hear me and, like, run into my room and be like, you okay? And I'd be like, yeah, sorry. I'm just, like, seeing people. I really, like two or three times this happened whilst my sister was back that like i would see people i'd start yelling at them and then my sister would have to like come in and be like well, who the hell are you yelling at like what what are you doing so as i've already said all the figures i would see would be women and i've started to see naked men which is really really weird literally i'd wake up and i'd see like figures of naked men trying to get out my window because my window is right next to my bed and Obviously, that's really creepy, like, as a 17-year-old girl. When I wake up, these figures, these people are always in the same place. They're always right, like, right in front of my bed. Only one time has a figure not been there in my room. Once I woke up and it was this side to me, and I, I literally went to her, I went, why are you here? Like, why do you keep trying to get me? Why are you here? Leave me alone. Um... So yeah, I've started talking to them, which I didn't do before. And then the story that I told in the vlog was a couple days ago. So now my sister has gone back to uni, so she doesn't hear any of it anymore. A couple of days ago, um, I woke up and there was a figure by my bed and it really, really creeped me out. So I started talking to it, being like, can you just leave me alone? Like, I don't know why you're here. And obviously wouldn't leave. So I've got like a really heavy cushion that you heat up in the microwave that smells like lavender. And I took my cushion and I threw it as hard as I could at this figure. And it banged my door really, really loud. And that's what I was saying in the vlog. That all you guys were like, Grace, what the hell? That's actually not normal. It's probably been going on for about two to three years now. So there's definitely more things that have happened that I just like can't really remember but they're like the most ones that stick out in my brain but the reason i am mostly making this video is to read your comments i want to know what you guys think about this i need some answers like i know it's not normal but like it freak it has actually started to freak me out before i really wouldn't care like i would see it and just go back to bed but now i've started like talking shouting at them i started throwing stuff at them and now, I'm not even joking, when I go to bed at night, it's the literally only thing I think about is am I going to see, like, a ghost tonight? So, at night, I've been, like, trying to get my mind off it and try to think about other things. But, like, it has actually started to really creep me out, like, the thought of seeing people now in my room. I guess what I'm trying to say is please comment down below what you guys think. I really, really would appreciate your guys' comments. I'm literally filming this home alone as well, so... <laughs> probably not the best timing and yeah um i guess i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for coming to my ted talk and listening to this and i'll see you guys next video bye